Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Jeremy Craft. Today's the first normal episode after that month of special episodes we did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those. I had a lot of fun recording them and uh, taking a break from the normal grinding and building that we were doing. But I'm excited to get back to it this week. And we got a lot of stuff to work on. While I was recording those episodes, I spent that month just thinking over all the stuff that needed to be done and what kind of things we might be able to change. And I'm going to start today's episode off just by going over some of the changes that we're going to be making to the Nether Hub because I've decided that I'm not happy with this design. It was an interesting idea and a good try, but unfortunately this just didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to. The biggest problem is that this tunnel is perfectly straight, and no matter how much detail work we do, it's never going to look really like a natural cave, it's going to just look like a weird jumble of stone blocks, and I just wasn't really happy with the way this looked. So I've been putting in some work in a creative world just trying to design some tunnels, and I think I've come up with some tunnel designs that I'm happy with. So right here we have some different tunnel designs that I've created. I've created these specifically with the intention of them being flying tunnels with high ceilings and low floors so that there's a lot of space for you to fly down the center with an elytra. I've made four designs here, but I think I'm only going to use three of them. This one here was originally intended to be the tunnel that leads to the creeper farm, but I just don't really like it. I think it's a little bit too uh, bright and uh, green. That was the intention I originally had, but I, I don't think it really works for what we're doing. Maybe I'll take some aspects of this when we make the tunnel that heads to the creeper farm, but uh, for now we're just going to uh, abandon this design. Right here is our main portal that heads to our island, and straight in front of that is the end gateway. So the forwards portal will be the end tunnel, and then to the right and left in this long straight line is going to be that wooden tunnel shared between the Old West Town and the Creeper Farm. And then close to this intersection here, just off of the uh, Old West Town portal, is the one that heads to the Desert Village. So I'm going to give that one this desert and sandstone inspired tunnel. I think this is going to end up looking much nicer than the randomized portal here. You can see this was my original attempt at seeing how this would look. Um, and I just don't think it looks nearly as neat and, and uh, clean and finished as these will when they're done. So I'm going to be working on that for a little while in today's episode, but there's a couple other things that I want to talk about before we start working. But before I talk about some of the other stuff we're going to be working on today's episode, I just want to share with you guys the story of Terrence. See, Terrence was one of the chickens that hangs out around my house on this little island here, right near the edge where it kind of has a steep edge, and sometimes they'll fall off and get stuck in the water. Um, usually they'll swim out a little bit and then just sit in the water there, and I'll occasionally go out and fetch them with boats. But for some reason, one of the chickens hopped into the water and then just started swimming and didn't stop. So while I talk about the other two things I wanted to mention before today's episode, I'm going to show you guys the journey of Terrence. The first of these is a bit of a sad note. We had a bit of an incident during the raid episode where I invited some people to the island. A boat got placed up by the storage system and a sheep hopped into the boat. And while I was trying to break the boat, I unfortunately killed the sheep. So, so unfortunately, we've got one more to add to our graveyard. It was incredibly sad and it was... A bit of an unfortunate and avoidable incident, but I take full responsibility. Second is that during that raid episode, we had a chicken get named McChicken, and unfortunately he's gone missing on the island. We cannot find him anywhere. We spent as a group a probably a good 20-30 minutes looking for him, and on my own time I've spent over an hour combined, and I just cannot find him anywhere. So hopefully one day in the future we'll happen upon McChicken and figure out where he's been this whole time, but for now unfortunately he is still missing. But onto what we're planning to do today. I've already mentioned that we're going to be working pretty heavily on the Nether Hub today, but I want to also spend some time in the Old West Town, because it's been a long time since we put any work in there. I want to try and get some more of the interiors done, and I want to finish the main street by adding a sort of natural looking muddy path down the center of the street. I think that'll bring us a lot closer to having a finished main street, and we can start getting some ideas for other builds around the Old West Town to make it look a little bit more complete. So we're going to focus on those two projects today, and see where today's episode takes us. So just a short fly from our island, this is where Terrence landed. He swam all the way over here, it took a really long time for him to get here, um, but when he arrived, oh, I was worried that they fell in a hole there, but when he arrived, I um, gave him a little family here. He fancied himself a pioneer, sailing off into new lands, so I figured he'd want to start a family here. So Terrence is just chilling here, so maybe I'll come by here sometime in the future and we can build him a little hut and a little home. At the moment though, it seems he's happy to just roam around, so we're gonna leave Terrence to his new life.
Alrighty guys, welcome back from the time lapse. Seeing this tunnel complete really reinforces to me what a great idea it was to abandon the other tunnel design in favor of this one. It looks so much better and so much more complete than the other design we were going for, and it works absolutely perfectly as a flying tunnel, which is what I wanted. So in the next few episodes, we're going to be connecting this tunnel all the way through to the creeper farm, creating an end-themed tunnel this way, and the desert-themed tunnel right here. The tunnel to the creeper farm and the tunnel to the desert village are both pretty short, and I'll probably be able to do both of those in one episode, but the tunnel to the end portal is a little bit longer, it's going to take me probably an episode or two to do just on its own, but uh, I'll keep cracking on with this, working on uh, at least one tunnel per episode. But I think that's enough work on the nether hub this episode, let's go work on the old west town. And welcome back from the time lapse. My apologies for this episode just being like three long time lapses, but there was a lot of work that needed to be done that would take a long time to show on camera, so I figured this was the best way to just crack on and get as much done in this episode as possible. Really quickly, I'm just gonna go over what we did in the time lapse. We finally got this main street textured up. We're probably gonna do a little bit of editing in the future just to uh, make it look as good as possible. But right here, you can get an idea of what I was talking about way back in the first episode where I talked about lighting up this island. Using these carpets, we can hide light sources because the carpet is designed to look relatively similar to the terracotta texture. So in the future, we're gonna light up the whole plateau with this style of torch under carpet. But in terms of buildings, we got the sheriff's office here, the arms dealer. The arms dealer and uh, general store, I made the same mistake. Um, neither of them have a clerk desk. In the future, when I actually fill this town with villagers, there are going to be workstations that are hidden behind the clerk's desks. That way, during the Day when the villagers all go to work, they'll actually head off into their own respective buildings, uh, making the village just feel a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go through here after uh, this and the uh, general store over there and uh, add a clerk's desk and maybe shuffle this along a little bit to make some space. But the next building obviously was the general store that I mentioned. Again, no clerk desk, but I'm pretty happy with just the general layout of the store. And then finally was the post office. We got these two teller windows for handing mail back and forth in this area back here for sorting the mail into different boxes and just a quick drop off spot. The two buildings that we left unfinished here are the brewery and the saloon. These were left unfinished because in the case of the brewery, I'm still a little bit unsure of how I want the inside to look. And for the saloon, there was just a lot of materials that we didn't have, um, namely iron. We're actually gonna be solving that problem in the next episode. Um, the beginning of the next episode is gonna be a little bit different, uh, a little bit interesting, so I think you guys are gonna enjoy that. But I think we're making pretty good progress with this town. A little bit of progress every episode, and this thing's gonna be finished in a couple uh, couple weeks. There's a couple other things I wanna work on soon. I want to get started on the warehouse that's gonna go here. Maybe add the church that we built a while ago in the creative world just back here at the back of the town. Trying to break up some of the symmetry and uh, maybe add a little couple log cabins, you know, places where the villagers will actually live. And then, obviously, I want to get the mine started. I haven't put any work into the mine down here. There's going to be, like, walkways along the stone here that is going to support people walking back and forth collecting the uh, minerals that are going to be sticking out of the sides of the ravine. Um, and then, obviously, the uh, crane that's going to bring the materials up and down as well uh, is going to be hanging over here. And one more thing that I never actually finished was the water tower. Uh, the water tower is going to go somewhere at the front of town, um, maybe on this little landmass here because I kind of want this front area to have something else, maybe a, some sort of stable or... I don't really know. I'm going to look at some pictures of Old West Towns, see if there's anything that could go here that would make sense. I'm not entirely sure I want to have horses and stables because if you look up here, this area is kind of um, isolated. There's nowhere really for the horses to go, but we'll figure that out. I'll get some ideas, and uh, if you have any suggestions, obviously, please leave those in the comments. I love... Uh, getting your guys' feedback. But I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for things you'd like to see us build in this series, please feel free to comment. That aside, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.